So today I'm going to be talking you through the contents of my spring caption wardrobe, which I have for you here. And actually video wise and blog post wise, there's going to be a load of stuff coming at you over the next couple of weeks all about caption wardrobes, which will hopefully answer any questions you have. And the blog post that goes with today's video is a blog post all about my current style inspiration. So if you want to know what is getting my fashion juices flowing right now, I will link that blog post for you down below. But the next video is going to be on my 10 top 10 items from my spring capture wardrobe. And I'll be talking you through each of those, showing you dupes if they're a pricier item. And then on my blog, I'm going to be styling them up into three different outfits. And then I'm gonna have a video that's coming for you in the next couple of weeks all about how to make yourself a capsule wardrobe, how I went around the process of making this for me, and also some suggested reading around the subject. So there's a lot of things coming up, but I thought today I would just simply talk you through what is in my spring capsule wardrobe. If I have any pictures of me wearing the items or any cutaways of me wearing them, I will overlay those as we go so you can see a couple of the bits on. All the items I talk about and any videos and links and blog posts and whatever will all be linked in the description box below. So there'll be a ton of information going on down there. But yeah, this is my spring capsule wardrobe. And whenever I show a capsule wardrobe, people are like, that's not all the clothes you own. It genuinely is, aside from anything that's in the wash or like at the dry cleaners, which I don't think there's anything at the dry cleaners right now. My warmer weather bits that I crack out for holidays or in the summer, that is under my bed right now. We have these like slide out drawers. That also contains any like summer shoes or sort of high heels that I don't wear day to day. I think I've only really got two pairs of high heels anyway, but they live under there. And then I do have a massive big Parker coat in my wardrobe that kind of isn't really part of my spring wardrobe, it's more just a coat that I have year round, it's from Whistles, it's actually really nice, but it's a coat that I just throw on to like run errands or when I'm going to the gym, I don't really wear it for like social occasions, and then I have four jumpsuits, and they're my like going out outfits, ready to go, whenever my friends go to a wedding or something, they always come around to my little jumpsuit shop and try those on and borrow them. So really this is everything. So instead of talking you through it in categories, I thought I would talk you through it in a bit of a different way. And it's actually from this book. This is The Creative Closet by a lady called Anushka Rees. I highly recommend picking this up if you haven't already and you just have an interest in capsule wardrobes or you wanna start a capsule wardrobe or you just feel really lost with your style right now. This is a really, really good book. It's heavy, <laughs> there's a lot of information in here, but I really like how she categorizes clothing and it really helped me to make this a cohesive wardrobe that all works together and I haven't ended up with too many basics or too many statement pieces. She basically suggests to cut up your wardrobe into three sections. And the first section are basics. The basics do exactly what they say on the tin. They're kind of like your t-shirts, your jeans, just very plain items that can really like neutralize anything else you've got going on that might be a little bit wild. Then she suggests a category called key pieces, which really encapsulate your style and they're sort of a slightly more dressier version of a basic but they're also not a statement piece. It's like the in the middle pieces, the real workhorses of your wardrobe. And then the third category are statement pieces. Now these are probably more trend-led pieces, things that you might not wear in 10 years time but you really really love now. Things that are a little bit different, maybe they're different colours, different silhouettes, different fits. So it goes without saying that the majority of my wardrobe, let alone just my basics, are very neutral but that's just what I love, what I feel comfortable in and I feel like that really really isn't going to change. I've been, I've been wearing black since I was like 16. <laughs> but these items are all very simple. They're also some of the things that I feel like I've really invested in recently because hopefully they do form the basics of my wardrobe for years and years to come. And that's definitely a bit of an experiment that I'm playing right now. I haven't really ever had super fancy clothing items before and I kind of want to see if it's worth the money. I feel already like there are some sections where it is worth spending the money and then there's some where it's not. But that's the video idea <laughs> ready that will come soon. I'm a lover of denim and I feel like my go-to is like a skinny fit jean that also has a bit of stretch in it because I just like to feel comfortable in them. And the Acne Skin 5 jeans are awesome. They're very similar to ones that Zara sells actually. So if you want a cheaper dupe, I would definitely check those out. But I've got this kind of pale blue wash which I tend to wear really super casually. These are like my weekend jeans. And then I've also got them in like an indigo, a black. These are frame jeans, the ones that I'm wearing now. Very similar to the Topshop Lees, I have to say, but they fit really nicely and they're not too high waist, but they're also not too low waist. I love just wearing them with like this. Um, this is an and of the stories belt. Love this belt. It's the only belt that I own. <laughs> I wear it with any trouser that has a belt hook. 
And then on the top half, I've got these. These are from Equipment. I get asked quite a bit about sizing in these. I personally am like a size 10, and I get these in a medium because I like them to be a little bit more oversized, a little bit baggy. But I think that I prefer the white, which is the one that I'm wearing now because it doesn't show sweat patches as badly. And I am very, very sweaty indeed. And other stories do a great jeep for these. I will link them down below. And I have to say, out of all the super, super pricey things I've bought, I'm not sure they're exactly worth the investment, but they do have some really nice patterns, very nice limited edition ones. Then down here, I've got some basic t-shirts. You've have seen these in my haul video. There is the Under the Stories one. There's a Whistles one that has Enchante on the front. Again, you would have seen that. There's just a black plain one from Weekday on ASOS, and then also another Under the Stories one. I definitely don't feel like t-shirts are particularly things that you need to invest a lot of money in, but they're really good for layering because I get really cold all the time. And they're also really good for kind of more in the spring and summer when I just want to tuck them into jeans and just wear a really simple outfit. And then I have a load of jumpers. I get cold very easily and then I get really sweaty. Yeah, my body's quite weird like that, <laughs> but I really like a good crew neck cut or a v-neck cut cashmere jumper. I just think they're really super classic and I kind of have a mix of higher end ones like this equipment one that's on the bottom, the black one, I just wear it. It literally goes in the wash, I wear it and then it goes back in the wash. I really, really love that one. But then I've also got a couple from And Other Stories. They do really, really awesome knitwear. And then the ASOS White Collection as well. I would highly recommend checking out the ASOS White Collection every winter because they have really good cashmere in. So that's my basic uniform really. Like all of these things work really well together to form a basic uniform. But I do have a pair of shoes and they are the white converse. I just love these. These tend to be what I wear just at the weekend if I'm like running errands or seeing family or going out for brunch or something. You can't go wrong with a good pair of converse. So key pieces of my things get a little bit more exciting and this actually forms the bulk of my wardrobe. These, like I said, are the real workhorses of my wardrobe. They're things that I feel really encapsulate my style like perfectly and they tend to be things that aren't like super dressy nor super casual. They're kind of somewhere in the middle and so actually a lot of my jackets fall into this category. I only have one statement jacket that you will see in a bit. The one I wear the most is this Whistles Erica jacket and I love it because it's got this contrasted like blue faux fur collar that you can take it off and when you take it off you just end up with a kind of oversized boyfriendy fit like pea coat almost in black. Then I have my two trench coats. I think you can't go wrong with a trench coat. Personally for me, they're just like the perfect jacket. I like the length of them. I like that they're not too thin, but not too thick. They're kind of perfect for really transitional seasons like spring and autumn. You would have seen me wear these loads. These are another two equipment shirts. This is a cotton one, which I really, really like the fit of this one. And then there's this one. You would have seen this. This is their Kira like pyjama style top. I love how simple it is, but I love how it's like a little bit different. And then you guys would have seen these in my trouser haul video. I love these two pairs of trousers. These black ones are from Whistles, and then these navy ones are from a brand called Selected Femme, which you can get on ASOS. Both of these I have worn so much, perhaps the Whistles ones a little bit more. I've actually really surprised myself by how much I've worn these because they're super, super comfortable. They fit at a nice sort of height where my belly flops over the top instead of cutting in, which is just really nice. And I find that they can be worn really casually, but also like quite dressy as well. And then I've got two pieces of denim that aren't really a basic, but they're not also a statement piece. They're kind of somewhere in the middle. These are new. These are from a brand called Girlfriend Denim. You've probably heard YouTubers go on about these before. They're very popular. And I can see why, because they've got that kind of Levi's original 501, like straight leg look. You will definitely be seeing these in the next video of my top 10 pieces because these are awesome and they're completely different to everything else that I have. And then I've got a pair of cropped white, again kind of straight leg jeans. These are super cool. They're going to be so good for like spring and summer when it gets a bit hotter. And I like the length of these that you show like a bit of ankle. In terms of key shoes, I have three pairs. The first one are the Acme Jensen boots. Now I've had these for probably over half a year now. They're super awesome. They were really, really painful when I first got them, but I wore them in and now they're like wearing socks. I'd say that these are the highest pair of boots that I own. And actually where I feel like my wardrobe is lacking is I don't have a pair 
of like high heeled black boots currently. I just haven't seen anything that I love. These are from a brand called Ivy Lee Copenhagen. They sell these in a place called Our Daily Edit, which is a little independent shop in Brighton. It's awesome. And these are just really nice. They're very similar to my Ash to Loose boots, which annoyingly were discontinued. They've got like a pointy heel to them. They're in this sort of like ambery color, which I really love this tan suede because like I said you can see everything else in my wardrobe is kind of quite monochrome and boring and this definitely adds a little bit of colour if you can call it that to my wardrobe. And then I have the Gucci loafers. Everyone's been talking about these. These are definitely like a fashion blogger favourite. Everyone says how these are like slippers and I have to say that so far they have given me really really bad blisters which I'm not too impressed with considering you spend an absolute fortune on these. I'm going to power on through though because hopefully they'll get to that like soft leathery stage and they will feel like slippers. I do have a couple of t-shirts and jumpers that sort of fit into this category as well and they're basically all striped. I have an Amor Lux Breton Stripe long sleeve top. People always ask me where I got this from and I got it from Our Daily Edit in Brighton, the shop where I got the shoes from, but you can get these online. I'll make sure I link up the exact one down below because it's a really high quality, gorgeous piece. And then I also have this from ASOS. This is just like a plain Breton Stripe boxy cut kind of fit t-shirt and I love it, it was £12, absolute bargain. And then I've got two jumpers here, they're both cashmere or wool, I think one of them's wool, one of them is cashmere, really lovely pieces. You would have seen me mention this, this is just the, um, the ASOS white striped cashmere top worn that an absolute ton. I have a feeling it's sold out, but if you can still get your hands on it, I highly recommend. And then I've also got one from Equipment, which is like a cable knit jumper as well. Then these are my statement pieces, and as you can see, there's not really that many, and I'm okay with that. I kind of just like adding a bit of leopard print into things, a couple of like neutral patterns into things, and then I've also got a couple of different kind of cuts here that are very different to other things in my wardrobe. So. Obviously this, this I picked up last year, I am still loving this. This is the perfect leopard print jacket for me because it's that kind of boyfriendy fit. It's quite like long, it's almost a bit trench coaty in length, but it's not super in your face leopard print. I'm not sure if they still do this on ASOS, but if they do, I have a feeling it might be in the sale. Someone was messaging me about it the other day and I still love it, will have this piece for a very long time. Speaking of leopard print, I've got a little bit more going on here. You might recognize this top, I've had this for years now. This is from Whistles. This is another top from Equipment. I really, really love this one because of the print. Doesn't show sweat patches really at all. This has just come out of the wash, so it is extremely wet. But yeah, I love both of these pieces, look really cool, like tucked into jeans. Then I've got these two things here. Now these are kind of wild cards, completely different. This one is from the brand called Frame, and it's like a polka dot. This is probably making your eyes go a bit crazy on camera now. And it's almost like a double-breasted jacket, almost. It's got like buttons down the front. Very, very different, slightly puffed out sleeves. I just like this one because it's a little bit different to like the other shirts that I own. And then this one is from the equipment Kate Moss range, which I just, I couldn't help myself. I love a bit of Kate Moss. And this has a slightly flared sleeve. And I'm not a fan really of the flared sleeve thing because I feel like you're just gonna get it in your food all the time. But this is very, it's a mild flare. It's not like a crazy flare. It's a mild flare, and I think this is very, this is probably one of the dressiest pieces that I have in my wardrobe. I think this, with like a suit trouser, would just look super chic for like the evening. It's definitely more of an evening top. Oh my god, it's so soft. Oh, now these, these you would have seen in my trouser video again. These are the mango wide leg school girl flares. <laughs> And I just think these are super cool. These would look so cool with that like flared um, top, with this top just like tucked in. I just think these are super awesome and definitely more of an evening piece for me as well. And then I've got two pairs of boots to show you. These ones are from Whistles. I've had these for quite a while now. They are awesome. These are probably my favorite pair of shoes to wear. I just love wearing like all black or even like all white, hey, I've got white trousers now. Just a very plain, simple outfit with these on the foot. They're the perfect style of boot because I like them to have a bit of a heel but not so high that it makes like walking around in them a real pain in the ass. Um, and then they've got a really pointy toe. I love a good pointy toe that's just very elongating on the leg. So yeah, I love these, super comfortable as well. And then these are a newer purchase that I can't believe I made. This is a purchase that I'm like, 
geez, I have to wear these for like the next 30 years or else I'm in like big trouble with myself. I've wanted them for ages. They're the Chloe Susanna boots. And I just was like, you know what? You haven't got children, go for it. And I actually have got myself a really cheap wedding dress. So these, I was like, you know what? If you've got yourself a bargain wedding dress. These can be like a nice little pre-wedding treat for you. Yeah, still not a good enough justification. They do a really good dupe from Office. I will link these down below for you. The leather is so beautifully soft, it's like butter. And they are crazy. These are like in your face statement boots. These are definitely a statement piece if I've ever seen one. But again, I like to do the same thing that I do with the Whistles boots and wear something super plain. Wear these, keep all gold detailing to a minimum, probably like no watch, no belt, literally just these. And they are so, comfortable. Yeah, I'm going to be having to do the school run in like 15 years in these. I'm just going to have to. So that is the contents of my current spring capture wardrobe. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you liked the way that I broke it down. I just found that that has been a really helpful way for me to like categorize everything. And like I said, if you haven't picked up that book, already grab it. It's super, super helpful and I feel happier with my wardrobe than I have been in a very, very long time. Like I said, anything that I've mentioned will be linked down below along with dupes of things. And let me tell you, a fashion, where to spend and where to save video will be coming very, very soon. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye. Oh, don't forget to have a look at today's blog post as well because I think it's very visually beautiful and I think it will come in handy if you are in the mood to get your style juices flowing. Right, okay, bye.